Hello everybody. Happy Sunday. Welcome back to my channel, Life with Patty. Welcome to the kitchen. You see I got my crock pot out here. It is Sunday morning. It is about 20 minutes to 10 in the morning. I just got back from the grocery store. I should make myself go early in the morning like this all the time because there was hardly anybody there and all the shelves were stocked really good. So we only have one grocery store in our whole town So uh, for 6,000 people. So yeah, you gotta get there early. And it also services the surrounding little towns in our county. We have a, a grocery outlet in Williams, but they don't always have everything you need. And so those are the only two grocery stores in the whole county. So anyways, we are going to make individual mini chicken pot pies tonight for dinner. Um, but the first thing I need to do is to get that chicken cooked, okay? So I have four chicken breasts here that I have already cleaned and trimmed the fat off of it. Um, and so I'm gonna put those into the crock pot right now. Now we won't use all this chicken for um, the pot pies. But what I have left over, maybe I could make a chicken salad later with some onions and celery and fresh apple or some water chestnuts in there. So we might make a chicken salad for later on in the week. Okay, so we have our four chicken breasts in here. I've got a little bit of this chicken seasoning right here. You can use any kind. You can use Lare seasoning, salt, whatever you have on hand, just to have a little extra flavor in there. Because in the crock pot, I tell you, I don't know why, but it seems to um, really cook out all the seasoning. So, okay. And then I have a 32 ounce container of chicken broth. You can use whatever kind you want. I honestly just get the cheapest one. If you have chicken bouillon cubes, you can put a couple of those in there with water. It works the same way, okay? And all we're doing in here is just cooking the chicken for the chicken pot pies ahead of time. Now, if you have, uh, if you don't have a crock pot or you prefer, you can just um, fry up your chicken breasts until they're done or you can bake them or you can even get a rotisserie chicken at the grocery store and just pull that apart and get all the chicken meat off of there. All right, so that's all we need to do here. <clears throat> We're gonna turn it on uh, to low temp for six hours and uh, it'll be done. By that time, we'll take it out. We're gonna cube up what we need and save the rest to the side. And then we will be back to make the rest of our chicken mini pop, individual pop pies. All right, hello everybody. I'm back, I'm in a different shirt because uh, it's been several hours and I went to my son's and uh, visited with him. And now I'm back home to finish off our mini chicken pot pies. So I cooked my chicken in the uh, crock pot. I put in four pieces of chicken, four chicken breasts, and I only used one. And um, so I'm saving the rest and I'm gonna make something else with it. In the meantime, let's get started with what we're gonna do here. So we are going to take two cups of fully cooked chicken, shredded or diced, whatever. This was easier to, this just kind of shredded apart. So that's how we left it, okay? And then I've got this on a medium heat here. I baked one potato in the microwave and then I skinned it and diced it. We're gonna put that in here as well. And then I thawed out some mixed vegetables. Now you can use um, frozen mixed vegetables or you can use the canned veg all. And I did one and a half cups of mixed vegetables. We'll put that in there. And the last thing we're gonna add in here is one can of cream of chicken soup. And it's the 10.5 ounce can, okay? So we are gonna put that in here, mix it all around and just heat it up a little bit. Now, for side dishes to go with this, you could have, once again, you have everything you need for a meal in here. You have your starch, you have your protein, and you have your vegetable. 
So you don't really have to have anything else with this, but if you want to, um, we're gonna have some jello salad with it and some fresh asparagus, just because we love asparagus so much. And um, you could make a side salad with it or some broccoli, um, or like I said, you could just do these alone if this is all you wanna do. Or just some fresh fruit, whatever you like, okay? So we're gonna let that heat up. And while that's heating, we will come over here and we have um, our muffin pan and we have some biscuits here, the jumbo biscuits. I just get the generic, I always get them. There's eight in here. So we are gonna spray with our nonstick spray, eight containers, or eight muffin tins, okay? We have the oven preheating right now to 350 degrees. You know, when you open these, it's always like a little surprise that I don't like. It scares me every time. I know you can't see my face right now, but it's all right. Ooh! <laughs> Still a surprise. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this biscuit, put it down in the pan, kind of shape it up. You could actually, make this into probably 12 if you want to take some of the um, biscuit apart and put it into another one because these are pretty pretty good sized biscuits but we're gonna just go with one check on our vegetables here and as soon as I'm done with all these, I'll be right back. Okay, I wanted to show you, if you kind of work the biscuit around like this a little bit, almost like pizza dough, make it a little flatter, it does fit into your pan a little bit easier that way. Okay, instead of trying to mold it once it's in the pan. So there you go. Now, the only reason that you have to heat these ingredients on the stove top is just basically just to mix them all together. So you don't have to cook them out there. Everything's gonna cook in the oven and the chicken is already pre-cooked. So it's just basically so you can mix that soup around and get it all mixed in there well together. And then I'm going to put this over here a little bit closer. Okay, so now what we wanna do is we wanna fill each pie, uh, each muffin dish with some of our mixture, our pie mixture. And we're gonna cook this at 350 degrees for about 17 minutes. I'm almost thinking I wanna put a cookie sheet underneath it. This is kinda of warm. I wanna put a cookie sheet underneath it in case it bubbles over so it doesn't go all over the, the oven, you know? I have a feeling they're gonna be kind of messy. I've, I've really only made this like one other time, so I don't really remember. So we're kind of like making it together for the first time. <laughs> but hey, why not try it out with all of you guys, right? We even have a little bit of mixture left over. But uh, that's all right. Can eat that separate or if I had another I had another thing of biscuits. I would fill up this pipe, the whole thing. I fill up all the muffin tins, but I don't. So you have a little bit left over. We'll save it off to the side and use it later. And then we're just gonna take any kind of sh cheese that you want. You can get the free shredded cheese or you can shred it yourself. I got the nacho and taco blend because it was $2.99 and the Colby Jack was $4.95 and it's like, well, what the heck? So we're just gonna sprinkle a little bit on there onto each pie. Oh, 
I have a feeling they're gonna come out kind of messy. But, you know, who knows, hold on. So just for preventative measures, we're gonna do this, okay? In the oven, they're gonna go for 17 minutes. And I will be back to show you what they look like when they're all done. All right, guys, three outfits, one video. <laughs> That's real life with Patty, okay? Like, I'm not making anything up, I'm just being myself. Okay, I ended up letting them cook for 20 minutes, all right? Then you're gonna let them set for five minutes and just leave them alone to rest. So then when you pull them out of the oven, look at how pretty that is. Isn't that just beautiful? Now I cut one in half so you could see it cut in half. And I think they look great. We'll take a little taste. I like them. They're quick and easy. And leftovers, you just pop them in the microwave for a couple of minutes and lunch or dinner is done. You can make you can make 24 of these up and freeze them. And then when you're tired and you don't feel like cooking, just pull some of these out, let them thaw out, nuke them in the microwave, and boom, you have dinner. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you have a great day, a great evening. It's Sunday evening and a great week ahead of you at work or school or whatever you do. And I will talk to you all again later. Bye-bye.